this morning I received an email from Cackle Hatchery. Uh, I didn't order any baby chicks, so I'm gonna have to give them a call today to see what is getting delivered on Friday. Um, I'm planning on taking a break from raising meat birds commercially for um, like three years and my hand might have been forced. I uh, have no idea what this order is. We'll see. I'll keep you updated. So I got an email from USPS and that is a informed delivery. It lets you know what packages and stuff are going to arrive to your place before they do. One of them said cackle hatchery. Now I haven't ordered any birds for this year so I'm gonna give cackle hatchery a call just to make sure that on Friday I'm not gonna have a whole bunch of baby chicks that I'm not ready for arrive. Who knows maybe this is an April Fool's joke and someone ordered me some chickens that I was not aware of. So. Let's give Cackle Hatchery a call. Okay, it's not going through. I'm going to try to see if I have a phone number for um, the wholesale. Hello, this is Brad Wood with Farmer Brad LLC, and I was calling because I saw on my uh, informed delivery from United States Postal Service that on Friday I'm receiving a package and it has a tracking number. I just wanted to make sure that it uh, was not some chickens because uh, I didn't order any chickens. Uh, please give me a call. Uh, thanks and have a great day. So. We will see. They're supposed to come tomorrow. And I kind of need to know what I'm being sent. There is a chance that it's just like a wholesale catalog with a whole bunch of other stuff, but I already received a cackle hatchery, um, a cackle hatchery magazine, so uh, catalog, so I don't know what this is. Keep you updated. Thanks for calling Cackle Hatchery. To place an order or for questions, press 1. To place an order for your store, press 2. To speak to the Internet Department, press 3. To hear these options again, Yeah, this is Brad Wood. I was calling because I received an email from USPS uh, saying that I have uh, an item that's going to be delivered uh, on Friday. And I, I didn't order any chickens. And so I was just wanting to verify that it was not uh, chickens. Okay, did you order any supplies? No. Hmm. Um, okay, let me look. And, and I wasn't sure if like a wholesale packet, if that would have a tracking number, but I didn't think that it would. And I've already received a Cackle um, catalog. Oh, okay. Are you a, a, a store that resells the birds? Yeah. Okay. Let me get you over to wholesale then. They can probably answer your question a little better. Okay. Because I don't know what they have sent and have, has not sent out. Okay. Okay. And what was the name of the store? Uh, Farmer Brad LLC. Okay. Because I do know they're, they're short-handed, so yeah. it may be a few minutes. Okay. Okay.
Hello, I was, um, I, I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't, uh, uh, baby chicks. And you're, you're a store? Well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I did wholesale through my website last year, Farmer Brad LLC, um, but, uh, yes, last year because of COVID, then, um, then, then I, I didn't do any of that, so. So, oh, do you have a wholesale account with us, so? Uh, yeah. Yeah, like a, a wholesale uh, drop so ship account. Farmer Brad. Yeah, Farmer Brad LLC. Like I, I logged on to my account, uh, Cackle Hatchery, and I didn't see any orders um, accidentally made in the middle of the night. <laughs> that I. Okay, for... so you have an online account you order through the online system? Um, well, uh, no. Typically, I end up sending an email if I order any meat birds. Um, or if a customer orders uh, birds through my website, then I uh, I f uh, forward that to you guys. And which email do you normally send it to? Uh, okay, because you know, I don't have any orders in our system for this okay. year. That's why I'm confused. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm confused too. Um, now, would, would like a wholesale packet have a tracking number? Um, cause I, cause I've already received the catalog, uh, the cackle hatchery catalog. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm just, did you go online and order supplies or anything like no, that? No, no, I didn't. I, I, I mean, I'm not showing any birds for you. Okay. So I don't know what it is. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, are, are you able to look up, uh, by address? Someone wasn't doing like a April Fool's joke and uh, ordering me some chickens. What can I help you with? Uh, so I wasn't sure if like someone ordered some chickens on my behalf and sending them to me. Um, um, I don't think so because the only way they would be able to do that is if they use their own billing information. And it says that the uh, should be delivered Friday, April 2nd. Too. Yeah, it's nine four zero. Brad, are you still there? Yeah. Okay, so the only other thing that we can think of is to try your email address. Brad? Yeah. You do have a wholesale account with us, correct? Yeah. Okay, so I pulled up one that said the ears were supposed to ship on 323. Did you get those? Uh, Jumbo Cornish cross? Uh, that, like any birds that I ordered was uh, last year. Okay, I don't understand because it's bringing you up. <laughs> I don't know who else would. Well, we've not charged you anything. Cool. I don't know why you got that tracking number. That is so weird because I've got you pulled up from your email. Yeah. That's the only way I could find you in the system, and there's nothing else except for our wholesale. That is so weird. I don't understand. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, because I, I wasn't sure if someone ordered some birds and just was like, uh, we're going to get you some birds. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't understand because it says that. Um, well, well, and whatever it is is expected to be delivered on Friday. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what weight that is? Um, yeah, I can give me just one second. Because if it has a weight, then that might narrow down <laughs> whether or not I need to rush and get my uh, brooder room ready. Yeah, I wonder where this could have come from. That is so weird. No, it is not telling me the weight. 
Okay. Because it didn't actually come that we can't figure out where it came from. That is so weird. I'm not understanding. And it even says that. Let's see what you Yeah, so um, I think completely and utterly that it was given to you by accident. I work out in shipping. I help send the packages out. Uh-huh. Your zip code would go to Kansas City, and it's saying that it went to Springfield. Anything okay. under six goes to Kansas City first. Okay, so do you think I don't have anything to worry about, or? I wouldn't think so, no. Mm-hmm. Okay. If by some chance something happens, you can call us, but I seriously doubt it. There's nothing coming from us. So the okay. only thing I can think of is that somebody accidentally may have hit the wrong thing and then canceled it out. Okay. Like the email address, if they type the email address incorrect. Gotcha. That's it. They check. There's no charges on your account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. No. If, if, if Jumbo... Cornish Cross show up on my front step tomorrow. I'll I'll yeah, they're, I'll, I'll they're raise them, but hard. but uh, but um, yeah. Well, if that happens, please let us know so we I can will. try to figure out what happened. Okay. All right, sir. Thank you. you. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. So the mystery continues. Um. I think, just to be on the safe side, I'll get my brooder room ready, just in case at 7 o'clock tomorrow I hear, I get a call from the post office saying that there's baby chicks for me, because uh, I have to go to my day job tomorrow, and so I need to just make sure that all of that's squared away so I can put the baby chicks in there and they're good to go. Um, yeah, <laughs> still kind of nervous about this. But, uh, yeah, who knows? It, it might be for nothing. So I still don't know if the package that's coming tomorrow from Cackle Hatchery is baby chicks or not. Um, I told myself that I was taking a three-year break from raising meat birds commercially. Um, but tomorrow, it may be some meat birds here, so... Just to be on the safe side, firing up my brooder. And what I did was I have this plexiglass and I just sort of place it over there to help retain some of the heat. And then I got two heat lamps, but then I have them reinforced with these buckets uh, to keep them a little bit more secure. So I put hardware cloth in the bottom. I cut a circle with about a one inch lip and then I push hardware cloth down into the bottom of that. And then I have these bolted and chained to the bucket. Uh, so the bucket is what's actually holding the weight of the heat lamp. So I'll keep you guys updated on what arrives tomorrow. Um, I'm a little nervous with the USPS informed delivery um, because I didn't order any chickens so who knows I might be April Fools on this situation (sighs) well that's a relief I now know that I'm not having baby chicks arriving today I was so worried. Now I need to go back to the barn and shut off the heat lamps and... So I want to tell you what ended up happening with the Cackle Hatchery story. So, let's see. Drum roll. What I received in the mail that I thought was an April Fool's prank of somebody buying me meat birds ended up being this tube. So I went to the post office and they said that um, there was no baby chicks uh, and then this tube showed up. I'll show you what's inside. What's inside is posters for having my own cackle hatchery chick day. I totally forgot that I ended up signing up for this. So this has like 
calendar and all that stuff. Um, so actually, let me go ahead and put some of this stuff up. So this is what they ended up including. A 2021 full year calendar, which is nice. All of the breeds that they offer for sale. They also included some catalogs. And then a stages of embryo development, which is pretty cool. So, needless to say, um, the April Fool's joke um, emergency was averted and it ended up not being anything uh, serious. But one benefit was by getting the brooder room ready. I was able to seize an opportunity when I went to the local farm store and I saw that there were three week old Cornish Cross that were 50% off. I could not pass that up so I purchased those to raise for our family and I'll process those on our farm for our family. Um, those were $1.60 a piece and they were at three weeks old so that's a huge savings there. Um, so, um, just thought that I would uh, let you guys know the result of the April Fool's prank scare that I had when I got a USPS informed delivery with a tracking number from Cackle Hatchery. All it ended up being was this tube here with promotional information. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave a comment down below. Have you ever had a tracking number scare uh, that ended up not being anything or ended up being something? Leave that in the comment below and until next time, see you later. It's Farmer Brad.